Um, Mr. Eric, what do we got first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, the first question that we had at the top of the list was Jen Zemish asking, how did you come up with some of the tartans you created? I think we pretty much already answered that. Um, well, it's, it, I would sometimes it's that serious, a uh, 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 oh, kind of a deep thought. And other times it's just like, you know what? That'd be freaking cool. Yeah. You know what I it's, mean? Designing tartans, um, what you know, and we're not going back. I'm not. I'm not selling you on this or anything else. Just designing tartans for me. Generally, here I'm the one who typically designs the tartan. But it's generally my my creative process, so to speak, is more of a round table discussion where I'll come up with an idea, I'll come up with concepts, and I'll kind of bounce it off a few different people, and then I'll see what their reactions are to it. I'll see if this is. Um, if I want to tweak anything and move in a slightly different direction, if I can defend the idea and mm -hmm. I like this or like mm -hmm. that, or if somebody has a different uh, angle on something or something I haven't thought of and I can kind of incorporate it into the design itself. Mm -hmm. So for Kilson Culture Tartan, um, when we designed that, I actually designed four, I think four different ones with yeah, some with more or less colors. Mm -hmm. For that one, I literally started with the Scott Green Weathered Tartan, because that was my wedding tartan. I wore that one a lot. It gets a lot of comments through, you know, pictures on the websites, through when we put the, the image and videos, that kind of stuff. So I said, okay, these colors are winners. Let me now use these colors and this general palette and this idea, and then completely rip it apart and do it, you know, as a new tartan. Mm -hmm. So that one was more color-based and feeling-based. When it's something like the Firefighter Memorial, which my wife did, yeah. The um, that one we used, um, we wanted to use specific colors for specific meaning, mm -hmm. and at the same time we wanted to use the number three four three for the three hundred forty three firefighters that died on nine eleven. So, since unfortunately you know it's a high number, but it's also a palindrome, it's the same forward and backwards. We could use it as a pivot point in the tartan, so we were able to do that mm -hmm. with that number. So it just it gives more, more meaning and more. Yeah, it, it gravitas. Yeah, more gravitas. Thank you. It gives more meaning, more gravitas to the tartan, and it just kind of it makes people connect with it on a deeper emotional level. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Clan tartans. If you if you look <clears throat> at tartans, you know, a, across time, so to speak, and you start with the original clan tartans, they were really more like de facto district tartans. They were just designs. Right. And then, you know, you had the Black Watch tartan, which, you know, stood for something as in the military. And then it, it kind of evolved through just different patterns for clans. Then when you get into the 1950s, the first example of a tartan of, of ascribed meaning to particular colors that we, at least that we know of and we can document, is the Nova Scotia tartan in 1953. So over time, it's kind of evolved from a, a fun, fashion-y thing to a symbol of a family, or to a symbol of a district, to a symbol of a family, and then people are just looking for more and more deeper meaning within it, yeah. which kind of evolved into the, okay, this color is for the sky, and this color is for the sea, and this color is for the, the rolling hills or whatever. Or a blend of colors sometimes. Correct. You know. <clears throat> and it's kind of evolved over time, and that's... One of the the beautiful evolutions of tartan. There's a lot of not not beautiful evolutions within it, but <clears throat> one of the beautiful evolutions is the meaning that is ascribed to certain things. It's mm -hmm. not just, eh, that's a pretty tartan. So that's now a thing. It's people are putting more thought and effort into the meaning behind things. Yeah, I, it's there. There's a kind of a poetic quality to it. I think most people when they design tartans these days. It's the it's very definitely the latter of your description is that like um, they'll look the cut like Isle of Skye is always my favorite example because you know she was very much inspired by um, the colors of the landscape there you know to, to come up with what she wanted for that tartan yeah, beautiful and tartan. most people you know like you look at like uh, local geographical tartans nowadays it, it will be literally like the green of the fields of corn and the blue of the sky and yada 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 I have a tartan that I I'm working on that is inspired by a very specific colored object. I don't know if I should reveal it or not, because you'll hate me for doing it. I'll hate you for doing it. You're right, so don't. <laughs> okay, I won't. But I, 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 will, I would look forward to seeing your design. I've never seen I you look design a tartan. I look forward to you refining my design to something that we can actually <laughs> offer to people. Fair point. Mm -hmm. It's 
You sell yourself short. I'm sure you'll come up with a good design. DM me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, but that's that's it. Basically, people want to make it more poetic. But you don't have to. I mean, you can literally just take, like, you know, the favorite colors off of a seat cover in your house and turn it into a tartan. If you like how it looks, then ta-da, you got a tartan. Yeah. They, you know? There can be as much or as little meaning in it yeah. as don't, you want. Don't like it stuff. Don't feel yeah. like you have to. You yeah, know don't, I mean? don't, don't experience paralysis just because, oh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm like, I really, really like this color, but I have to think of what it means to us. It's, it's not like that. It's you can do as little or as much thought mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and put it into the tartan design. We could have come up with 897 different ways to add meaning and thoughts into the American Dream Tartan. We didn't. We didn't want to handicap ourselves by saying, okay, I want 15 points of meaning. If you do that, then you're stuck with particular things in the design. So there's a lot of meaning, but maybe the design doesn't look as good. Yeah. So you yeah. want to have a balance of a good design and meaning. Yeah, and you don't want to, you want to, you don't want to go so far that like you tip the scale into like the, your 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 personal bullshit detectors going off. It's like really, <laughs> it's yeah. like it, it gets a little purple, a little bit purple prose sometimes yeah. if you try too hard. So. And it's it's art. Bottom line right. is it's art. Right. It's you're always gonna see the artist to some degree may have to explain why they did certain things or used certain objects. Like I'm thinking like painting art. Um, people have to sometimes explain why they did certain things. Other times people will just read into it what they want to read into it. That's true. So there's, there's the element of allowing personal exploration within an art object, sure. whether it's tartan, whether it's a painting, yeah. um, as well as what the artist actually meant and just explaining what they meant. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So, I hope that helps. First shaggy dog of the day. Exactly. <laughs> hey guys, if you like what we're doing on the channel, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications. If you want to see other cool videos that we've done, check out these videos. Oh, we haw.